let's take a quick uh, tour through this code. This is uh, Dan Abramoff's uh, React server components from scratch tutorial. I did uh, a few of the extra assignment items, extra credit. So let's, let's loop through, let's run through those real quick. Okay, and as you can see, that functionality is working with all the steps. Uh, that includes background color, fragments, markdown image, and the uh, writing to the file, as well as um, wrapping the page with the key. Um, <clears throat> Let's take a look at what at how the um, how the code works in the browser in the in the in the network tab. So on first load, what we get is we get well. Let's go home. Let's go home and do a first. Let's do a hardware load on on home. So we get okay. What we end up getting is the home page. Okay, we get the home page, and then uh, some images, and the client. Okay, the client is requested. Oh, right here. So that gets requested, and then um, so this and that, and then the client requests a bunch of React stuff. So from here on down, are all. It's all React dependencies of the client. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first load. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put some whatever in the input box just to show it doesn't, it stays. Okay. Subsequent requests are going to be all <laughs> um, uh, on the client side. Okay, so we'll, we'll close this just to show you what happens. I'm actually going to um, clear this out as well. Okay, so we go back. And you can see that the call is initiated from the client, the query param of JSX. Okay, so it's a request to the server that's serving this page. And that goes to, well, let me see if, should I go through all that or, yeah, okay, like, let's just, okay, let's look at it. Okay, so it comes into this server here. This is on localhost 8080. It's the same page you're getting the, uh, your, um, your, <clears throat> The web page is on is on 8080, so it comes in here, and for the client, if it's client, then it sends that back. Um, otherwise, we're going to f get data for the path name from the RSC server, and that'll give us that'll handle um, running, you know, running running the function components codes with their props to get the data back. We get that to text so we can stringify it. We go back home. We'll go like this. Hard reload. And then see this just has the the slash route. It's not, there's no query string. That means it goes past here and down to here. What that means is we're on the SSR server. What that does is it puts the J calls render to string the server side, the SSR method, and it puts the the client JSX in the window for the for the first and the SSR um, and the hydration step. So that's that's what this is right here, and the response 
the response is this. It's your HTML. Okay. So it's your HTML with the um, with the, the JSX string. Okay, so let's see what a client does. It's going to get that, it's going to get the JSX from the window and use that to hydrate the root. Okay, so that's now it's hydrated. Now it's ready to do stuff. Okay, so that's first re request. Okay, now we'll clear all this out. And we'll make a, a subsequent request and just you know, put that in there. Okay, so that maintains state here on the client side. And we make a subsequent request is going to be <clears throat> any any links or whatever are going to be handled by the client. Because what ends up happening is anchor, tag, click. Then you just um, call this navigate function. It's going to fetch JSX and then replace it all. When you say fetch JSX, what's that gonna do? Well, that's right here. It's gonna send a fetch request to the SSR server, which then delegates to the RSE server because of this query string here. It's not a post request for add a comment, then it is the, um, it's just a, a JSX request. We say send JSX with slash dog. <clears throat> Um, let me just come back here. Oh, okay, 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 okay. If JSX, then we'll return what we get back from from the RSE server. If it's SSR, stringify it and put it in the window. If it's a client side JSX call, then it'll come in here, and then you'll just you'll send it back. Okay. We'll get into what RSC does in a sec. I mean, if you went through the tutorial, you'll already know, but just for the benefit of those who don't didn't. Um, okay. So. Let's just say we come back here and we're in the navigate function, navigate called fetch client JSX. So you got that back. And then you get that to text. And then we go and parse and revive it. We have a reviver function here. We return, we return to the caller, the JSX that we got back from from the SSR, which delegates RSE. Okay. And so here is your client JSX you got back. And then we just call root.render with that JSX you got from RSC server. So that, what that does is <clears throat> the, the client then, instead of like making a refresh to the server to get a new page, it um, receives the JSX and replaces it. Well actually react, the react scripts do that with um, hydrate, hydrate root, um, well excuse me, hydrate root is the initial um, but root.render with the hydrated root. Uh, the hydrated root is able to re is re able to render the, with the new JSX. So it, that just means replace the, the diff, diff, diff and, diff and render, replace what's the, what's changed. So that's the whole process there. Um, let's see. Oh, um, yeah, I put in I put in a lot of different uh, I put in a lot of different um, console logs to so we can trace like what is going on here, and if we make a request, and this is particularly for um, the comments because I was having trouble getting that working today, um, but let's make another dog comment and just kind of take a look at what happens. So we'll say, post the comment. So what, what happens? Um, oh, see, that didn't work that time. Oh, I think it, I might have clicked it twice. I think it might have been the problem there. Okay. Um, let me, okay. Okay. This is, I don't have very good air handling here, as you can see. Okay. Okay. Let's do an Otro doggo commento. Okay, let me just do it. Click it once. Okay. Otro doggo commento. Okay, so what happened was. Alright, so. Um, we've got a couple of client side scripts and the uh, window. Actually, I need it 
here in the window. Okay. Yeah, out event listener submit. So this is a submit event happening. And let's take just take a look at what's happening here. I'm gonna say uh, form. Yeah, let's go to comment form. So this is what the form looks like. Action is going to be posting to its own slug. And then as you saw before, um, <clears throat> if method is post, we'll call, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, if method is post, then it'll come in and we'll do some stuff here and it'll, we'll do a handle the comment. Okay, we can take a look at that, but um, just in, just keeping it right in here, let's keep it in on the client here. Um, I'm, uh, okay, so what you saw was you have a form, it makes a submit request. Now, when you do an HTML form and it makes a submit request, that's actually submitting to the server back to which, you know, which is hosting an SSR. So it would, it would come in by default, it would come in here and it'd be handled like, oh, it's post request. But what client is doing is saying, no, nah, let's add event listener for the submit and intercept that, prevent the default, clear the form, which we'll do down here, uh, but not before we get the um, the slug and the comment. So we want to get we want to get the comment and you know the slug from the page so that we can get so we can put the put the right comment in the for the right post. Okay, and the the comments look like, like this. Just an it's an array of objects with this format. You've got slug, comment, author. ID and timestamp. Okay. Okay, so you get all that data, it, it does that, and then makes a and then makes a fetch post request with the with that form data, and then it does come in here as as a post. But it's not coming directly from the server. If it were coming directly from this HTML form directly to the server, to SSR and here, then it would cause a reload of the page. But because it's being intercepted by the client and then, a f then the client uh, script attached to this HTML page is then delegating the request on to the server, then it does not cause the page to refresh. And so we, we forward the request from the client to the server, get the data back, and then replace replace the uh, the content in the page, the JSX in the page, um, with just dynamically without ref so we maintain basically so we maintain the state here. I didn't here. Let's let's put some state in there so we can show you. Say uh, un cuatro. Commento por, por el doggo. Okay, so we'll see. Un cuatro, and the state is maintained. So that's the whole point, is we maintain state and not refresh the page. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, what else can I say about this? Yeah, so that's the process there. Um, just real quick, RSC. Um, you know, you, you have these, obviously SSR is delegating these requests to RSC. They come in here, it's looking, it's, you know, creating a new URL, sending, and then calling the send JSX with the URL. So this, the URL is going to be relative. It's going to be like either slash or slash dog or slash, you know, cat, uh, cat or whatever, whatever the, what are the pages? So it's either slash or one, or, or one of the blog pages whatever is in whatever's in here um, and so the router will determine based on the URL the router will determine what JSX gets um, uh, gets run on the server and the data that's output and sent back to the client okay so it'll take this it'll say URL if it's slash, give the index page. Otherwise, give a post page and show that slug and, and give us the slug. So the slug is like cat dot whatever, whatever, whatever. This slug is the name of this file without the extension. 
All right, and then we'll put uh, we'll put the basically the router the the point of the router is to create a page, and then the the layout is just a template that's gonna stay the same no matter what, and then the page is gonna be dynamic. It's either gonna be the slash or specific detail detail page. So put put either the index or the detail page inside this um, layout, and you know. And then we'll, and then that's that that will be the that that's will be the JSX that the router determines whatever ends up in here based on that based on that slug okay so <clears throat> send JSX let's go into send JSX what does it do send JSX um, calls <clears throat> render JSX to client JSX with a JSX what is JSX it's whatever the it's whatever was determined by the router okay whatever what it, whatever ended up in here is determined by the router will be the JSX so this is actually is JSX so send JSX takes the response and the JSX well that's the JSX okay whatever 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 that returns okay response to JSX and then we'll response end with what we get back from here okay so what is so we're passing the router URL, whatever is returned from that is the JSX to here. So what does this do? Render JSX to client JSX. This is going to, um, this is going to uh, iteratively, um, what's the word, recursively iterate over all of the JSX and give us um, and, and extract basically, <clears throat> The whole point of all of this is to call component with its props. So if you have like a, <clears throat> a post with the slug, that is going to give, that's going to call, let's say like, if you have like, um, let me give you, let's go to post. Yeah. Um, oh, goodness. It's just too many of the thing. Um, post slug, yeah. Okay. So post slug, it's going to read the file from posts with slug and text as UTF-8. So it's going to read the text out of here and you get your content. And that's got to be, that's got to happen on the service. Read file is, you know, that's a, that's a node, node file system uh, thing that you, you can't do that in the client. So that is what's going to happen in uh, render to JSX. You're gonna recursively loop over all of the um, the <clears throat> the JSX until you have everything um, uh, until until you got everything back. Uh, I think that's the long and short of it. Um, do we want to look at this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have some interesting uh, comments in here. Let's let's just clear this up real quick. I wanted to show you that this state is maintained. Um, let's just look at what happens. Um, uh, comment request for comment dog. All right. Post the comment. Okay. So well, you'll notice there's two requests being made, and it's specifically timed about two seconds apart, so that the server has time to like respond to the first, but so it doesn't get overwhelmed. Um, the first request is. Um, going is is making a request to the SSR server uh, a post request excuse me it's a post request that that's okay the first one is is the post request that we talked about so it sends a post request and that updates the uh, the comments here and we could go into exactly what is happening in handle comment uh, I guess but that's a little bit beyond the scope let's just say it calls handle comment and it basically writes to a file. That's the point point of that. So, so you so you basically the client intercepts the post request, um, gets the data from the form, does not you know main, maintain state by not refreshing, and then hits the server with the form, and that you know that writes to the file basically handle comment, and then. Um, and so that's in the client. We are, yeah, add to so the submit handler. Say so we make that, we, we, we await that. We hit the server when that's done. 
you go ahead and set a timeout for two seconds and navigate with the slug. So the slug is obviously a dog and, uh, and the navigate function will do the exact same thing that the navigate function does when you click the link, which is what we already went over, which is it'll, it'll take dog, set the current path name, and then fetch the JSX for dog. Of course, dog is going to go go into the router, and say slash dog. So it's going to get you the detail page for that, and that's going <clears> to <throat> be called by send JSX, which is going to call render JSX to client JSX, loop over, get the dog data, and then send it back. Okay, and then um, <clears throat> root dot render with that data that comes back with the, the JSX that came back. Um, yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what that's what uh, dog and dog JSX does. I have a bunch of um, <clears throat> I have a bunch of uh, console logs here, which I thought were interesting. Well, they were not just interesting; they were necessary for me to figure out what is going on here. Um, when I was tracing my steps here, you know, you you can you can take a, a look for yourself. But these are these are the steps when you're when you're you're making a, a post request. I couldn't figure out why I was able to write data, but then when I want to fetch the JS, fetch the JSX, it was erroring out, and I realized all basically all these comments amount to um, you need to uh, put a timeout on this navigate function because you're hitting SSR like too fast. It's like it, it didn't have time to respond to the first request. It didn't have, it, it wasn't able to respond to the second request because it hadn't finished responding to the first request. So there's like two requests happening. And I thought about, let me just make it one request. But then, I don't know, um, I guess maybe that would be an opportunity to refactor. So if you have made it this far and you think that would be a good thing to do, then I I, I think that uh, you should definitely uh, look into that and and see if you can uh, make it better okay uh, I think we are d about done here um, if you want to yeah if you want to look at the code just go look at the code it's all on your I don't have to like walk you through it but that's that's pretty much the long and short of it all right thanks